We have launched the first wave of the UK Generations and Gender Survey, the UK GGS, this year in 2024. The survey is part of an international research infrastructure called the Generations and Gender Project that examines life and family dynamics across countries in Europe and other parts of the world. The survey collects a wealth of information about key life events, family and intergenerational relationships with a special focus on full partnership, marriage and fertility histories. The way we live today has seen many changes to family life and relationships, leaving gaps in existing data and the research questions we are able to answer. The UK GGS is designed to capture more information on the complexity and diversity of modern relationships and family life, expanding on the existing data and providing new opportunities for researchers. The UK GGS is funded by the Economic and Social Research Council, ESRC, and is conducted as part of the Centre for Population Change at the University of Southampton. With the launch of this first wave, the UK is now one of 20 countries around the world to be part of the GGP, opening up new opportunities for cross-national analysis. It collects intricate information about partnerships. For example, different ways people have met their partners, did they meet online or in person? There are also information about how happy they are with their relationship. By collecting data on family relationships, the GGS allows users to explore the dynamics of interrelationships between generations. There are also questions specific to the UK, about social media use, Brexit, the cost of living crisis, work patterns, and job security. The survey took place in 2022 and 2023, after the COVID pandemic began, so there are questions that capture evidence on potentially new lifestyles such as remote working. The UK GGS is a push-to-web online-only survey. It surveys UK adults aged 18 to 59 living in private households. To improve representativeness of the survey, we use a stratified random probability selection of addresses, achieving over 7,000 complete surveys. This survey collects information reported by the individual about topics on demographics, partnership and fertility histories of previous partners and children who are not in the individual's current household, relationship quality, fertility intentions, infertility issues and contraception, about the household, generational information, for example, the individual's parents and grandchildren's information, well-being, work and income, attitudes, with some questions specific to the UK, like about Brexit. These questions can be used to study topics ranging from fertility and intimate partnerships, to housing and leaving home, to health and commuting, and to intergenerational transfers of support. For example, in some of our early analysis, we can have a look at how heterosexual couples who are living together split up laundry chores. Almost 70% of women say they are always or usually the ones doing laundry, and more than half of men also say that their female partners are the one always or usually doing the laundry. A third of men and a quarter of women report that they split up laundry chores equally with their partner. This suggests to us that there could be a gender gap in how household chores are divided between couples, as well as reporting differences by gender. For example, maybe equality is underestimated by women and overestimated by men. When we look at who pays the bills and keeps financial records, the responsibility seems more evenly spread between gender, with over a third of men and women say they do it equally. However, we still see that 45% of women and 38% of men also report that this responsibility typically falls on them. We also know that many of our respondents were concerned about climate change when thinking about the future. 37% were very worried, 44% were somewhat worried, 13% were not particularly worried, and 6% were not at all worried. For more information about the survey design, the questionnaire, and where to access the data, please check out the Centre for Population Changes webpage by clicking on the link on this video here. And you can always contact the team at cpc.soton.ac.uk.